Hello again class. This is our last PowerPoint lecture for Language and Society and as a reward I'm going to make it a short one. Today's focus will be on defining what we mean by the linguistic variable and how studying these variables can point us towards social variation. The linguistic variable is a connector of linguistic and social variation making it a perfect candidate for sociolinguistic study. So what is a linguistic variable? A linguistic variable is a linguistic item with identifiable variants. For example, the morpheme ing is a linguistic variable. As you know, ing indicates the present continuous tense on English verbs. As you have also likely heard, ing has two verbal variants, ing and in, such as in singing and singin. More examples of linguistic variables are phonological. For example, you can have the H or no H sound. Some people say house, others may say ouse or hospital. There is the T or the glottal stop in bet or better, or people can also say better. The TH or F in think or think or think and the contrasting vowels of i or e in pin and pen. Some people say them exactly the same and some distinguish between the vowels. Linguistic variables can also be grammatical such as including the s in third person singular verbs such as he talk or he talks. Or we could also talk about stative constructions. You can include the be or not include the be, such as he's happy, he be happy, or he happy. All of these can be found in spoken English. Linguistic variables can also be identified in the lexicon. For example, what is the name of a non-alcoholic carbonated drink based on geographic regions in the U.S.? You can have a pop or a soda or a coke or a soft drink. All of these are lexical linguistic variables. Or the name of a light knit winter covering for the head. You could have toboggan or toboggan hat. My grandmother says that. A stocking cap or a beanie. You may be thinking that all of this is very interesting, but how does the linguistic variable relate to sociolinguistics? If you are able to recognize a linguistic variable with variants across a given society, then you can determine how the variants of that linguistic variable relate within that society. As Wardha writes, small differences in speech can effectively distinguish subgroups in society from one another. Through observation and data collection, we can posit links between a variant to socially identifiable factors such as age, gender, social class membership, and more. Our examination this week and next week of the linguistic variable will venture into the realm of microsociolinguistics, the study of how language is used and can vary within a society. This is contrasted with macro sociolinguistics, which has been our primary focus up to this point. Macro sociolinguistics is a study of what and how languages are used when more than one is available for use within any given society. So during the next two weeks, we will be hearing from different authors concerning various social phenomena and the linguistic variants associated with those phenomena. I'm looking forward to our micro sociolinguistic discussions this week and next. Thank you and have a great week.